<laughs> Give my theme music. Give my theme music. So I'm telling you, baby, it's a better than that. It's the bigger love of the family. What's your name, sugar? And he goes, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Twerk Ethic Show. This is a clip from the longer podcast episode linked at the end of this video. I'm JT. This dude over here is Cooley. Lucy, I hope. Please enjoy. Today we rank top 90s TV catchphrases. And my number two absolutely was. Me and my brother used to say this all the time. Yeah. And that one is, Did, Did I, I do, do that? that? <laughs> Did I do that? Did I do that? <laughs> I believe you because you use the accent. Oh my That's gosh. Sure. Mr. Steve Urkel. Uh dude. Oh my gosh. Family Matters. Yeah. Great show. <sighs> it's we always would, and we would hold our neck. Did I do that? Yo, yeah, yeah, yep. Man, we just the fun. <laughs> we just found that so funny. Yeah. That, um. And and I, uh, did some research here. He was initially a minor character, and yep. because of the catchphrase, he became really popular. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. And that's, that kid was a genius. That's that's what happened. You yep. know. Yep. And what a great show. Oh gosh. Family yeah. Matters is one that did age very Carl well. was great. Uh, that Well, that actually stemmed from Perfect Strangers. What did? The the show. Really? Family Matters. Oh, okay. Because Harriet was the elevator operator at the Chicago Tribune where Larry and Balky worked. There you go. There you go. There you go. That was, yeah. Nice. That was my prime, bro. Nice. Prime. Give me my theme music. Awesome. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. Coolio, cooly, cooly, cooly. What is your number one TV catchphrase? Number one is Did I do that? Did I do that? <laughs> God. <laughs> that kid, I want to say, I will say, well, he's a grown that's man, probably man. the best one. Yeah. It's not my number one, but right. it, it, I mean, it was close. In terms of effective, You're, it was your number two, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was close. So I mean, good. Yeah. That kid was an absolute genius, and he was he was like Kenny. He was only written in one show, and they were like, "Okay, we're done with him." But as soon as he, because I remember watching the show, and I'm like, I'm thinking, "Oh, this is a good show. It's a good family show." But then when Steve came along, I was like, "Oh, I remember." I was like, "They got to keep this nerd, dude. He's <laughs> nerd." But they got they got to keep him in, and they did, and. And Pretty made, soon he was in the credits. I would say that's probably why that show was so famous. Just yeah. Like, oh, you know. for sure, man. I mean, Carl Winslow was the was the man. Oh, he's so good. But still, I yeah. Um. Oh, and uh, another honorable mention that I just thought of, Mother Winslow. Way to go, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Carl. <laughs> that woman was so funny. Oh yeah, and her timing was just oh man. But anyway, back to Steve. Um, Jaleel White. Yeah. If you watch this. Bro, when he first revealed he wasn't amazing. a nerd. Oh, totally different. I was shocked. Yeah. I was like, whoa, what? I was like, wow, his voice is kind of normal and low. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was just like reaching for the stars on that. But anyway, that one voice. if he's watching. Yeah. If he's watching. You were the man, bro. And, and like, he, I said that kid was a genius, but now, he, I mean, obviously he's a grown man now. But at 13, just doing all that stuff, and he was like, and I've seen interviews of him like later on. He was like, I had to make it perfect because if I didn't, I wasn't going to be on the show anymore because I wasn't part of the family. Yeah. And so he went in there and just guns blazing. And when uh, when Harriet, that scene when uh, when he first walks in and he's carrying flowers and the roots are still. 
hanging from the bottom because he was going to take Laura out. Yeah. And they're dri- <laughs> the water dripping on the floor. He's like, who are you? And why are these flowers dripping on my floor? And she was like, what's your name, sugar? And he goes, mm, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I still lose it, bro. Oh. I've seen that scene so many times, and I still lose my mind. It's so funny. <laughs> him tripping over stuff. Oh my gosh! He gosh, was, he was great. I mean, and that was when physical comedy was I'm, a thing, I, and he I, did it well. Bend your knees and stick out your pelvis. I'm telling you, baby, it's a better than that. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. As mentioned, this is a clip from the episode linked somewhere in here. Not sure where, somewhere in there. So click on it. I promise our show does not suck. If you like what you saw, the payoff will continue to happen. So thank you very much. See you on the next one.